you just need to point it to the dot here and then you can see the green light flashing leave it like that and it says success <laughs> Since the release of Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant or Google Home, I personally haven't seen any really interesting smart home devices that has been released afterwards. And I really want to dedicate my YouTube channel, tech channel, to be focused mainly on the smart home devices. But unfortunately, because there hasn't been many interesting things that has been released, I think that's why I end up focusing on the robotics side, which I really do enjoy. But if you're in my position at the moment, you do get a lot of uh, inquiries from various tech companies. And this one, I couldn't refuse because this is a very interesting uh, smart home device called the Sofa Batten X1 uh, Smart Remote. So this is compatible with how many zeros is that? That's like, okay, 50? No, 500,000 plus devices. And it comes with a mobile app with infrared and Bluetooth control as well. So. Uh, while I'm going to do the unboxing, I'm going to let my colleague at AI Studio explain the technicality side of this very interesting device. So over to you. Thank you, LJP Tech. Sofa Baton Universal Remote Control is one remote control that makes life easier. With its powerful cloud data and functional detail design, Sofa Baton caters to everyone's needs to create the most comfortable and convenient use experience. It comes with handheld remote control plus control center hub Bluetooth support, infrared, and Wi-Fi control. Battery for the remote control is 1000 mAh, which brings working time up to about 2 months and it has 2-inch LCD screen on it. Sofa Baton X1 supports Bluetooth or infrared control compatible with different brands and models of devices. Up to 60 devices can be added and can be switched at any time. Cloud code library data can be accessed and added through the app customizable buttons and can assign commands at will. It also comes with custom macro button, one key to control multi-step operation. Also with third-party platform, it can be used with Alexa and Google Assistant to achieve voice control. Overall, Sofa Baton X1 Universal Remote works with over 500,000 entertainment and smart home devices over 6,000 brands. Compatible IR, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi device for custom one-click activities, you can create activities to control your home entertainment. For example, add and watch TV activity to automatically turn on multiple devices. So while we're waiting for this remote control to be charged because it's quite low in battery, we got this like a basketball sort of roller inside <laughs> stuck in here. That's pretty cool touch. You can, if you press it, you can select. And I believe this is also a touch sensor scrolling. And we got the home, back, option, volume up, down, silence, mute. Uh, channel up, down, and also um, pause, forward, backwards, and teletext as well. So we've got the off and also another back button as well. And it's really nice uh, USB-C sort of cable quality as well. These are the infrared uh, blasters. So I think these are the uh, sticky patch that you could actually stick it onto a surface if you need to. And this is the actual hub here. And as you can see, this is the back side of it. So you plug in these one and two with this IR blaster. This is where you plug in to charge. And this is the Bluetooth connection button that you press for three seconds so that you set up a Bluetooth connection with your smartphone. So as you can see, the IR Blasters 2 cable in the back is actually connected. I'm actually just showing this for demonstration purpose and the power source is also plugged in as well. And then if I were to click the uh, X1, and then I have to press on the back side of the button here for three seconds. There you go. So sofa button X1 is um, detected. How cool is that? Once the connection is established, it's actually doing updates. So that means that 
ongoing development, ongoing synchronization with softwares, you're gonna get the best service out of this. I love updates. So for device setup, all I need to do is press and then infrared and I need to search for my TV. We have apparently uh, the LG OLED 55 inch. This is quite old actually, but the model number is 55EC930T. Uh, so if I were to go back and search for LG, and then um, I just need to put in the keyword. So it's 55 um, EC, let's type in EC. And that's the one, isn't it? EC930 and T. Here we have it, folks. So that is all the button and then we're just ready to go. So to save all the memories, now it's downloading those uh, buttons or files. So rest assured, this doesn't download the unnecessary files. It's really efficient the way how things work. So here's our TV. First off, you can see from the app itself, you can actually uh, adjust the volume up and down. You can actually hear the vibration and you can see that TV. Uh, it's actually working as well. So if I were to turn off, let's turn off, shall we? So there you go. The power on. And I could hear the click, which indicates that the power should be on. So there you go, it works. Now, if we were to try on the remote control here, as you can see, it's automatically synchronized by the way. So you don't need to worry about to um, you know, register on your remote control because these, these are constantly paired up. So if you click on the devices, there's LG there. And then if I were to press um, volume up, volume down, see, you can see that it's working. And then you can also go for um, power off as well. As you can scroll down from here, you could go for power off. There you go, that's power off. But if I were to turn it on, just press that again. There you go, the power is on, so it works. So the next one is Samsung Bluetooth player that one of my friend actually gave to me without the remote controls. So this one is the BDF5100 um, Blu-ray and DVD player, okay? So if I were to go here and search for infrared and then searching, and then for the brand, all I need to do is press Sam. So that's Samsung. And the model number again is BD hyphen F um, 500, 5100. So it's not there, but if I were to scroll back, I can see there's a upgraded version, which is 5700. I'm pretty sure this is gonna work anyway. So let's actually set it up and then uh, let's complete. So as you can see from devices, now the Samsung has been registered as a TV and the DVD player. So if I were to press the power button on it, you can see that the power is going off. So this is definitely working. So we're now in the Samsung mode and um, if I were to press right, it works and the left as well. Um, for the, there's actually this scrolling button here and if I were to press the middle one as a selection, yeah, there you go. So it works perfectly fine. So you don't necessarily need to choose the exact uh, model number, but a similar one and it will work. So I'm really pleased. Finally, I have a remote control for the Samsung DVD player. So you know that when you want to change the input, um, so let's say if I go to my um, LG remote control mode. Um, the good thing about this is that you don't need to press and manually select it. You got a very quick um, shortcut. So if I were to press this one, we got the HDMI input one and input two and input three and input four. So this is really good. I'm so pleased. Uh, that sofa button has this uh, shortcut which is not available on the normal remote controls. So let's say you found a device that is not registered under the sofa button system. 
cloud system, should we say. Um, and quite rightly, because this is quite a unique device actually. So all you need to do is infrared and then press on learning and then press on the box because this is actually the box. And to learn the power, you just need to press to learn. And then while the screen is popping up, you just need to point it to the logo or sorry, the dot here. And then you can see the green light flashing and it says it's learning. So leave it like that and it says success. So the power button is registered. Let's actually also uh, learn the navigation up. So if I were to press that again, you can see the green light flashing, leave it until it's learning. And then that's also success as well. So by doing this, all you need to do is press next and label it whatever you want and it's all good to go. So after you registered, you don't need to worry about synchronizing with your remote control. It does it by itself. And that is really cool. Look at that. 33%, 66%, all synchronized. So we've gone through the infrared now for the Bluetooth device. If you click on it, Apple TV, uh, Android TV, those are the thing, even like PlayStation 4 and 5 and Sony devices. Well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? And on the Wi-Fi, apparently it works for like Roku, Philips Hue and Sonos support it as well. Now the heartbreaking news is that I really wanted to have the remote control function on this Ruark speaker. Now I have actually been told several times and I actually tried on the Flipper Zero on a special way as well, but there seemed to be no way whatsoever to uh, use an alternative remote control for this Rock Audio. This is a really good sound quality, by the way. But as you can see, even though I press it here, it just does not recognize it whatsoever for the power. Now, if you go to Google Home and press Add and then works with Google. And if you were to search for Sofa, ah, there you go. So Sofa button here then you can actually synchronize all the connection with Google uh, Home or Google Assistant. And this is fantastic news. So in other words, to explain to you physically what this means is, you know the famous Logitech Harmony Hub? You know the way how you can voice command and use this as a conduit to control your TVs and so on as a remote control universal? And combine these together, as a result, what you get it's a single unit of sofa button remote control. That's brilliant. So not only you get an upgraded version of Logitech Harmony Hub, but also you no longer need all these remote control. You just need to combine it or chuck it to use a singular remote control uh, from sofa button. Now it makes a lot of sense actually, because this is USB-C charged. So you just need to charge it on and off and the battery life is pretty good but by using this singular USB-C charge remote control you do not need to worry about buying like double A's or triple A batteries for your remote control so it's really good and if you happen to lose any other remote control you just need to register it and it will automatically straight away synchronize with your new clever uh, remote control and you're pretty much good to go. Now, I think some people might argue that it could be quite expensive. I think in UK or in US is about 180 or 190 US dollars or British pounds. But if you think about it, Logitech Harmony Hub itself didn't come with the remote control and it cost about 120 at the time I remember and it was very difficult to get. While as this, an upgraded, quicker reaction, combined remote control, I think it's a fantastic value and you're not gonna regret it at all. It's definitely an upgrade for your smart home use. So well done for Sofa Button for coming up with this really clever device and also the hub, by the way. So I hope this video clarify what this device is about, but if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.